Okay, Sir Cheddar was looking for some information as to whether or not a gear motor would affect the operation of this. And the short answer is to an extent. The long answer is we'll go through a demonstration then I'll explain what you're seeing. For starters, we've gone through the auto calibration routine. We can do it again just to verify. We'll unplug the unit. Plug the unit back in. And there it is, self calibrated, and it's rock steady in the center. If we turn on the gear motor, you'll see the cursor's jumping around a little bit on the screen. In a VP game, that amount of movement with this unit is not going to affect its performance. However, turn that off. We'll get real foolish and do something I'm sure nobody's actually going to do and put the unit right on top of the motor. Of course we'll need to calibrate it again. Now you can see it jumps considerably more when it's sitting there loose on top of a motor. That's why I say the short answer is no, it's not really going to affect your gameplay having it next to your motor. It's certainly going to have nothing to do with the electrical interference or anything like that. It's pretty well shielded. Um, the majority of the issue that you may have if you're going to mount this thing right on top of your gear motor, your shaker motor, yes, you're going to get interference from it. Recalibrate that to zero again. In order for this to be effective in VP, you're basically going to need movement along the scale of this or higher. And that's certainly not what you're getting. When you trigger your gear motor on and off. Hope that helps. I did have a great big long video of me playing a game, but apparently as soon as I put on VP, the camera loses focus and stops recording. Anyways, hope that answers your question. Thanks.